Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to compare the Ring Floodlight Camera versus the Kuna Maximus Floodlight Cam. I had my Ring Floodlight Cam for more than a year now. And if you are new to my channel, I'll link in the description down below my original review and my 6 months and 1 year long term review of this floodlight camera. Overall, my Ring Floodlight has been working without major issues. On the other hand, I had my Maximus Floodlight about a month now, and this is a replacement unit because of an issue I had on the first one I bought. It rained for several days and it started to have condensation inside the lens. Take note that I installed it in the same spot on top of my garage door where my Ring Floodlight Cam has been sitting for more than a year. Coming in with that history, I might be biased towards Ring, but we'll make this comparison video as objective as possible and you decide which floodlight cam is better. Both cameras records at 1080p video resolution with 155 degrees field of view for the Maximus and 140 degrees for the Ring floodlight. But when I compared both screenshots from the camera, it seems like I can see more with the Ring than with the Maximus even though the Maximus should have a wider field of view. With the ring, I can see at least 5 feet of the front of the shed, and also I can see half of my neighbor's backyard on the left. With the Maximus, you will also notice a shadow area on top on both corners, and I realized that those were the floodlights. I either have to position the floodlights way to the sides or tilt the camera way down. So this is something you need to check when you are installing. When I compare the screenshot when I installed them on top of my garage door, you will notice a big difference on the field of view. And the ring definitely has a wider field of view than the Maximus. So I don't know which brand have their field of view number skewed. By the way, I'll link down below the screenshot of the field of view comparison so that you can check it out in more detail. Both cameras only record when there is motion and uses PIR or Passive Infrared which detects heat and or software algorithm or what Kuna Maximus calls it AI, Artificial Intelligence. Ring uses both sensors in their motion detection and with the Maximus, you have to choose which type you are going to use, either the PIR or the AI. In my experience, Ring is pretty much spot on in motion detection. And when there is an alert, there is definitely something or someone that have triggered it. The ring will start recording around 3 seconds before the motion has been triggered. And with the Maximus, it will record 10 seconds prior to the triggered event. Which, in this footage, it is too long. But sometimes you need that extra few seconds prior to the event, especially if it is a person or persons walking and not a car. On both cameras, you will get the footage prior to or who or what comes in the frame of the camera. I noticed with the Maximus, there will be instances that it will not detect motion when using their AI detection and having multiple false alerts when using just the PIR sensor. This is a major ding for the Maximus and even with this replacement unit that I got, it does the same thing. It is not reliable in motion detecting. It's not detecting. But when it works, the motion notification alert is almost instantaneous like the rings. Person detected near your floodlight cam. Person detected near your floodlight cam. Ring detects motion consistently around 30 feet. Maximus is advertised as to be able to detect motion up to 70 feet, but in my testing, it never got triggered until I'm around 10 feet from the camera, and that is with their AI detection. At 10 feet. It notified me at 10 feet. Also, in notification alerts, on the Maximus, you will get a preview plus you will have an option to mute the alerts for 2 hours or play a message. While with the ring, there is no preview but you have an option to mute the alerts for 30 minutes or for an hour. 
Both cameras feature two-way audio, and the Maximus has better audio than the one from Ring. Person detected near your floodlight cam. What are you doing, bud? Can you hear me? I could barely hear you. Um, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay, bud? Thumbs up. I guess I can't hear you, huh? I can't hear you. All right. Thank you, bud. What are you doing, bud? Oh, I'm just Can hanging out. Yes, sir. I'm just hanging out outside. I can barely hear you. Um, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Can you hear me okay, bud? Yes, sir. I guess I can't hear you, huh? I can't hear you. Alright. Thank you, bud. Hey, bud, can you hear me? Okay, I'm just testing the uh, Maximus floodlight audio. Can you hear me okay? Okay, thank you. Hey bud, can you hear me? Yes sir. Okay, I'm just testing the uh, Maximus floodlight audio. Can you hear me okay? Yes sir. The good thing about Ring's audio is that it records both sides of the conversation, unlike the Maximus that it will only record the camera side. As to the floodlights, the Maximus light output is 2400 lumens and it is a 5000 Kelvin color temperature, while the Ring has 1800 lumens and with a 3000 Kelvin color temperature LEDs. The 1800 lumens is bright enough and the color temperature really depends on your preference, but I wish Ring will give an option for a 5000K on their floodlights. Also, the Maximus floodlights are dimmable from the app, while the Ring doesn't have that option. As to night vision, the Ring floodlight now has what Ring calls enhanced night vision. Thanks to yours truly, Ring improved their night vision and it now records in full color when the lights are on. And also has a combination color and infrared black and white recording when the lights are off. As to the Maximus, it doesn't have night vision. It depends on the floodlight to turn on, then it will record in full color. Remember though, for the AI motion detection to work, it needs to see the subject. So, at night, it is basically blind. Now, this will go back to motion detection reliability, which the Maximus has issues with. Both cameras need Wi-Fi, and with the Maximus, you are able to connect to either a 2.4 or 5 GHz. And with the Ring, it can only connect to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. This is a moot point for me because 5 GHz doesn't really travel well outside of the house. Even inside the house, I'm only able to connect to it if I'm close to my router. So, depending on your Wi-Fi setup, most will be using 2.4 GHz anyways when setting up outdoor Wi-Fi cameras. Both floodlight cameras have manually activated siren, and the Ring advertises the floodlight to have a 110 decibel siren and the Maximus has a 115 decibel one. I have a sound level meter to test out the numbers. Both have pretty loud sirens and definitely will get some attention when it goes off. Both cameras are weatherproof 
and the ring has an operating temperature of negative 22 degrees to a 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Maximus has a negative 4 degrees to 122 degrees. But as I stated earlier, the Maximus had a condensation issue that I need to get it replaced. A lot of you have mentioned that it was probably a bad unit. So let's see how this replacement unit will hold up. I will not artificially soak this to find out though, but if any issues arises, I'll be doing an update video. I'll also include the links on my original review of the Maximus floodlight and also on the condensation issue down in the description below. As to installation and setting up and adjusting the camera, the Maximus wins this hands down. They said it is an easy 15 minute install and I can install mine less than that. You just need to install the mounting bracket and connect the two wires to the mounting plate, then screw it in to the bracket. Align the floodlight to the mounting plate, turn clockwise and lock the lock switch. Adjusting the camera is easy too. It has ratcheting adjustments and you just need to move the lights, sensor or the whole unit itself and it will stay in that position. As to the ring floodlight, you need to install the mounting bracket and on the wiring, you will need to connect three wires which a ground wire is needed. I think because the floodlights are made of metal. Then you will need the S hook which is included in the install kit to hang the floodlight while you are wiring which can be cumbersome if you are way up in a ladder. Then you will also need to secure the floodlights camera using the two small cap nuts. Installation is a bit longer with the ring floodlight. The Maximus can be installed in a wall vertically or horizontally in a ceiling like this install. With the ring, they only designed the floodlight to be installed in a wall, but it can also be installed horizontally and it does have some limitations. First, it needs to be installed high up around 8 to 9 feet high which is the recommended install height anyways. With a horizontal install, the camera arm is in an angle and you will have a limited range in tilting the camera up. This is why it needs to be installed more than 8 feet high so that it can have a good view of the area in front of it. In this setup that I'm showing you guys, both cameras are installed at 8 feet and the ring floodlight still has a decent view of the area in front of it. To adjust the floodlights for a horizontal install, loosen up the collar nut first so that you can turn and adjust the lights so that the rain shield will be on top. Loosen the arm knobs to adjust the lights up or down. You need to do some turning, twisting, and tilting to get the lights to the position that you want. Both cameras are Alexa and Google Home compatible. Alexa. Show me the ring floodlight. Okay. Ring and Google Home have limited integration, but is fully integrated with Amazon Alexa. Alexa, turn on Maximus floodlight. Okay. Alexa, turn off Maximus floodlight. Okay. Alexa, show me Maximus floodlight. I couldn't find a camera in that group. On the Maximus, the lights are the only ones that can be controlled at this time. There are a couple of features that Maximus have that I wish Ring will integrate in their cameras in the future. First, pre-recorded messages, which can be set up to play when motion is detected or manually play it. Hi, we can't answer the door right now, but the camera is recording, so please just leave us a message. Thanks for coming by. I'm sorry, we're pretty busy right now. Secondly, the animated thumbnail preview in your notifications, so that you don't need to open up the app every time there is a notification. Lastly, as to the price, Ring's floodlight cam is priced at $249 in their website. At Amazon, occasionally it will be a few dollars cheaper, but it is about the same price most of the time. 
As for the Maximus Floodlight, it is also $249 at their website. But some people have said though that sometimes it is available at Costco's way cheaper. And I know at Home Depot, they sell it for $199. Now, these cameras also needs a subscription service to get the most out of their features. With the Ring, to be able to view recorded footage, you need to subscribe to either their Protect Basic plan, which is $3 a month or $3 a year per camera to have access to the last 60 days of footage. If you have three or more, I suggest to sign up to their Protect Plus plan, which is $10 a month or $100 annually, and you have access to recorded footage on unlimited Ring cameras in one location. And if you have the Ring Alarm system, the monitoring fee is already included in that price, which I think is a good deal. Now, you don't have to sign up and you will still have all the features of the camera, except for not able to view recorded footage. As to the Maximus or any of the Kuna cameras, they have the $5 a month or $60 a year for one camera for the last 7 days of footage. $10 a month for up to 4 cameras with 14 day look back and a pricier $20 a month for up to 8 cameras and a 30 day look back. Now, if you don't sign up, you will still get the camera's features except for the AI detection and you'll be able to view recorded footage for the last 2 hours only. Well, that's it guys. Which floodlight camera is better? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and hopefully you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to get comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.